Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and tonight we're going to be taking out this Star Adventure mount for a bit of a spin. Now, I've been out a few nights with this so far and I've had no luck whatsoever. I first tried with my Canon 40D, pointed it towards Cygnus, try and capture NGC 7000, the great American nebulae. Couldn't see a thing, just stars. Next night it was clear, I tried my ZWO planetary camera because I got desperate. No look there either. So went on mpb.com, ordered myself a Fuji X-T1, which has got this amazing X-Trans2 sensor in it. They're supposed to be a bit more sensitive to the red stuff. So what I'm going to try tonight is some 90 second sub exposures with the Star Adventure 2i, which I got last week. And that's thanks to you guys using my affiliate links. Very much appreciate that. That's enabled me to buy this portion of this rig here and it's doing a cracking job it's it's pumping out two minutes subs with a, a 72 mil apo so thanks very much for that that's really cool we're going to give it a whirl and see what we can learn with it this is going to be a maiden voyage for the st1 by fuji fingers crossed one thing i like about it is i don't know if you can see this i didn't have this with the 40d flip the screen out so no more of this business apart from when I'm polar aligning and to get polar alignment what I need to do now is go on my little app here and select some polar finder software and that's going to tell us exactly where we need to point Polaris on that little orbit that Polaris does as it processes around the celestial pole. So we need to aim at about 10 o'clock there with the reticle of the polar scope inside there. I know it's a lot more complicated for you guys in the Southern Hemisphere. We're quite fortunate really here in the North that, you know, you just point it pretty much a star, one of, one of the bright stars as well. Now, okay, so what's with this rig then? So I did an unboxing kind of setup video for this, but this awesome NRL RT90C tripod, which I bought because I saw a video of some guy doing pull-ups underneath it. So I thought that's going to be strong enough to hold the Star Adventurer. So I got that. And we've got the Magres 72, which is an ED refractor. And I've got the Barda Sky Surfer 3 on there, which is a really good, it's a very large red dot finder. And it's a good one because you don't have to like view it at a very precise angle. You can, you can, you can easily see the red dot. I've got not a lot of excuses really for tonight. It's, it rained earlier and it's cleared out the sky a bit. There's some Persid meteor meteors going on. I've seen one or two of those. So that's pretty cool. And to get focus, I'm gonna use my good old focus mask here. Right, I'm gonna get set up and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Obstacle number one is I've not got enough back focus to get the star in focus to begin with. This is the thing with short ED refractors, there's rarely enough back focus. So I've got the focuser all the way out, I've got the T2 to FX adapter to connect the Fuji to a T2 two inch nose piece that fit, push fits into the focuser and I'm going to have to go and grab another two inch extension tube to put in there I think and then hopefully that will work. <laughs> 